After a year and 10 months, the group has come up with the full body of the airplane. And they are just putting the finishing touches, like smoothening the left wing of the aircraft. So it's a mixture of different chemicals, different metals. However, this is the exact skin they use on all those mid-sized aircrafts, like the Cessnas. However, this has been the most expensive venture that has seen the engineers use a lot of money. As this aircraft became more mature, so did, it, did its budget become more mature. Um, now a week we need 2.8 to 4. But sometimes, surprisingly, we can even do it at around 2. So it's not very stable. The team has however faced a lot of negativity and received no support from Ugandans. Although they were promised 142 million shillings by the president, which has not been delivered yet. Now, ordinarily in any plane manufacturing business, this sort of activity would actually be taking place in a warehouse. But because of the financial constraints that these people are facing, they've had to actually operate in open space. Now here, factors like moisture have come in to affect the entire production process, which has seen the final product slightly delayed in terms of getting the final piece. The aircraft, which is expected to be ready for testing in early 2012, is expected to weigh 1,000 kilograms, to fly for at least 12 hours, and take off at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour, and fly at an altitude of 80,000 feet with two people on board. Craig Kadoda, ANTV.